Hi, and welcome to Form Now. I am Taylor Kemp, the platform manager of Form, and with me is Dr. Sean Innerts, who you will find out who he is very soon. Um, but we are in the middle of a segment where I'm interviewing professors of the graduate school called Meet the Professors. Um, so we should do that. Let us meet the professors. But not just the professors, you are the academic dean here I at the Gus Institute. That's right. I'm the boss of the professors. You are the boss. So you have a little bit of a different history uh, with the Augusta Institute than I think any of the other professors that I have um, interviewed. So could you maybe, uh, Dr. Ernest, just tell us uh, where did your, I guess, story with the Augusta Institute begin and then we can start moving from there. Um, I, I probably shouldn't begin at the very beginning because that would that would be a very <laughs> long story. Um, um, my um, history with the Augustan Institute is the whole of the history of the Augustan yeah. Institute yeah. Um, because I was in the room uh, on that day in 2004 hmm. when Dr. Tim Gray, Dr. Jonathan Reyes, and myself met to um, launch the Augustan Institute. So. Which is fascinating. So very unique compared to the, the other professors. So why don't you talk about what was some of the vision or what inspired um, founding a, a graduate school? Well, uh, yeah, that does a touch upon the longer history. Um, <laughs> we had thought about uh, doing something of this kind, of an initiative of this kind, for a long time. Um, I was actually in graduate school in the master's program at Franciscan University with uh, with Tim Gray and mm -hmm. Curtis Martin. Uh, Ted Sri was also there at the time, and uh, and we had talked about the necessity of setting up, um, particularly a school, although we hadn't necessarily conceived of it as a graduate school mm -hmm. for uh, catechists or others working in church apostolates mm -hmm. um, for over ten years before we actually sat down in that room in 2004. Wow. So that would have been two, uh, 1991, 1993, that span. Yeah, wow. Those two years when we were together at, at Franciscan. So um, so the school was founded, um, and, uh, and you said that it wasn't initially conceived as necessarily a graduate school, but I guess what, what did lead you guys to having it be a graduate school as opposed to, I guess, I don't know if you were considering undergrad or well originally you know when we were friends together mulling these things over and actually reading the works of augustine and others who mm -hmm. had done catechetical work in the in the church for mm -hmm. the previous decades um uh we were just thinking we need better catechetical formation so yeah. what form that would take wasn't entirely a matter of indifference but it was uh it was just a larger project that we yeah. were thinking of um the reason we ended up uh, with a graduate school is because uh, Tim and I were both working in the seminary. We were both on the seminary faculty, St. Mm -hmm. John Vianney here in Denver. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I had helped start the seminary mm -hmm. a few years prior and then had left for a, a few years. And when while I was gone, actually doing doctoral work so I could teach in the seminary that mm -hmm. I had founded, <laughs> um, <laughs> I uh, helped found. I shouldn't say I founded it. It was... There were much yeah. higher ups who were who were the agents, but I helped. Yeah. Um, but while I was gone, Tim came to the seminary to teach, and uh, and he picked up some of the ideas that we had originally generated when mm -hmm. we were founding the seminary, which yeah. would have included a lay institute of some mm -hmm. kind. Oh. And since yeah. the seminary is a graduate school, at least the theology portion mm -hmm. of seminary is a graduate program. Um, the idea was, well, we'll found a lay institute, which will also be a graduate program, mm -hmm. uh, somehow embedded in or connected with yeah. or married to, because yeah. that was one of the ways we thought about uh, the original uh, institute as being married to the seminary as yeah. a kind of spouse or bride. Yeah. Um, Tim had uh, carried those ideas forward and was doing a, some ex explorations with faculty and uh, benefactors in the Archdiocese of Denver. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then uh, I came back mm -hmm. after doing graduate work to the seminary. Mm -hmm. uh, that would have been 2003. Okay. And uh, so we mulled this over, did nights of interest to see who might be mm -hmm. interested to, to figure out who would benefit from yeah. a program like um, that. We got the ball rolling. Uh, Tim had a conspirator, co-conspirator yeah. in myself, and we started, uh, you know, re-enlivening those, uh, those thoughts we had had when we were graduate students. And, um, 
And so we began to think of this in earnest. Now, the, one of the principal players, of course, was Archbishop Shaphew, yeah. who was the Archbishop of Denver at the time. And uh, he was very supportive, but we, we had sort of a struggle trying to figure out whether or not it would begin inside the seminary yeah, yeah, or okay. apart from it. Okay. And, um, and we actually got permission on August 1st, 2004. Wow. That's really amazing. So yeah. I wanted to ask, uh, especially because you were the founding dean, um, I, I, and I know that I'm sure this took shape over the next several years, but mm -hmm. uh, I've had the privilege of having you as a professor and I've heard you talk about um, education. I guess what, um, thinking of the name St. Augustine and, and, and thinking through the curriculum, what what are some of the guiding principles of the Augustine Institute? And, and when, when you guys, especially as it kind of got refined and it mm -hmm. became a graduate school that was separate from the, the seminary, what was, what was the hope of when your graduates would come out, myself being one of them, what was the <laughs> hope for what uh, would be given them through this program? Well, our hope is realized in you, Taylor. <laughs> yeah. Let me say that first. You had to say that. I, I, I'm under no compulsion. <laughs> I, I, I freely offer that. Um, we, uh, we, we were under the conviction from the very beginning that Augustine chose us. Mm -hmm. um, we really felt as though uh, his hand was on uh, the foundation of the Institute, and that's why he became our patron. Yeah. Um, and, and his thinking about catechesis and other matters in the life of Christians and in the church uh, very much colored um, the original impulses and also the the structure uh foundation curriculum methodology yeah uh from the very start so there are certain augustinian elements which are um fundamental to the way in which we approach this work of not only theological investigation reflection scholarship and teaching mm -hmm. but also the work of catechesis mm -hmm. um I, I don't know how much detail you want to go into, no, I, yeah. but but three interesting elements I would say Please. is that the yeah. the the three persons who were sitting in the room at the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, one was a scripture scholar, Dr. Gray. One was a historian, uh, Dr. Reyes, mm -hmm. and I was a theology teacher. Mm -hmm. I won't call myself a theologian, but but those ended up being the three elements in the curriculum, mm -hmm. and all of those teased out of the fact that we were there in the room, but also. Uh, these various elements of the teaching of Augustine, which mm -hmm. are fundamentally historical, theological, and scriptural. Mm -hmm. And that actually became the foundation for the curriculum itself. And those are things we only recognized as time passed. Yeah. But we realized that providence was really at work yeah. in, in us. It's, you know, I, I, I'm not trying to draw attention to us, but yeah. it almost seemed as though the work ahead was sort of pers personified was, in yeah. the in, in the three of us sitting in that room. And just kind of unraveling rather than yeah. in a way being discovered, I guess. But yeah, yeah. it was kind of unfold, which is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to ask, uh, maybe just a, a quick note. So you were the founding dean, mm -hmm. uh, but then there was a, a span of time where you were not here and, and now you're back as dean. So yeah. maybe just touch on that. And then I after that, I just wanted to move into what is it that you teach? Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, I... Uh, we we were all part timers at the beginning, mm -hmm. and um, and I was the only one. I had done work helping set up the curriculum, uh, you know, the catalog, all those kinds of things arranged for arranged for professors when we had uh, started the seminary. So mm -hmm. I had some experience in that, and so I was sort of the person who was tagged uh, to do that original work. So I wrote the original catalog, yeah. bulletin, curriculum. Tim um, contributed a lot. Tim Gray. Yeah. Uh, and obviously Jonathan Reyes as well, and was an important uh, guide. He was actually our first president. Mm -hmm. I was the first dean, and I helped get us up and running for the first five years. Um, but I was always kind of part-time because my full-time gig was at the seminary, yeah. and that was the same for Tim as well. So we, we had one full-time employee, only one person who was actually being paid yeah. by the Augustine wow. Institute in the beginning for the for almost... Well, five, four, four years about that. It makes that. me think so much of uh, Colonel Joseph Bratzinger's address to Catechist, and he says, what is the structure of the new evangelization? He says, it's the parable of the mustard seed, and <laughs> yes, it's this exactly. very small <laughs> beginning that has grown, and it's grown a lot. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so uh, what is it uh, that you teach? Uh, what is your passion uh, for teaching? 
Uh, and, and, and I, maybe just a little bit on, on where did that come from or, or kind of yeah. what led you to teaching the, the particular subjects you teach on? Well, um, I, I've taught a variety of subjects um, throughout my, my teaching career. Uh, here at the Augustan Institute, I've taught the dogmatics course on the mm -hmm. creed. Uh, originally, I taught the first class I taught at the Augustan Institute, the first day we started was uh, fundamental theology oh, okay. about revelation and faith. And uh, that's not really a part of the curriculum in the same way yeah. anymore. Um, but my real passion is the mystagogy course mm -hmm. that I teach, and I've taught that course um, as a part-time member of the faculty mm -hmm. um, for about 12 years or so uh, prior to coming back as dean full-time yeah. now. Um, that's a great passion of mine because it changes people's lives. Yeah, that came through. I had Dr. Ennerts <laughs> for Miss Yoshi, and it changed my life, and it has impacted. That is uh, through and through when I've talked to students. That is one of the most impactful courses, and it really it is unbelievable how rich and deep and full of love the sacraments are, and you have taught that with a great passion. Yeah. It is passed yeah, on. Yeah, and and it has nothing to do with me, mm -hmm. right? Uh uh, there, there, as Augustine says, there is one, but one teacher, mm -hmm. you know, uh, echoing our Lord, of course. Right? Um, uh, it, but the course helps people to be well disposed to the reception yeah. of sacramental grace. And that is everything yeah. <laughs> in Christian life. Um, you know, uh, we become Christians by the grace of the sacraments, the sacrament of baptism, and we maintain our covenant with God through the graces of the sacraments. So, I, as you will have heard me say in that course, uh, the new evangelization, which is the, the primary thing to which the Augustan Institute is committed, mm -hmm. depends almost entirely upon disposition to grace. Yeah. So, and that's, that's true of catechesis generally, which is my, you know, broadly speaking, my, my passion, mm -hmm. but specifically catechesis about the sacraments. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the catechism says that, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the church's inner growth and correspondence with the plan of God depends essentially mm. upon catechesis. I would say sacramental catechesis yeah. or what we call mystagogy is really um, the central core of that catechetical work and and what that which will make possible the, yeah. the new evangelization. It is a beautiful course. Day. It's worth if you're at all interested <laughs> out there in the in the graduate school. I highly recommend it on that testimony alone for. Mr. Goji, um, I wanted to ask uh, maybe just a little bit, uh, not to not to downgrade any other graduates program at all, but I did mm -hmm. want to just talk about what differentiates uh, the Augustine Institute from what else is out there, especially if there's anybody that's listening uh, that is just curious or, or interested. What is makes us a little bit different? Well, um, it's once again, it's the Augustinian spirit. Yeah. Um, the one of the reasons we we sought to found the Augustan Institute as a kind of freestanding entity within the church mm -hmm. is that we wanted it to be entirely integral within itself, mm -hmm. right? So we didn't want to just borrow courses from some other curriculum and 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 put mm -hmm. together a kind of patchwork of topics. Mm -hmm. uh, the curriculum at the Augustan Institute is an integrated yeah, curriculum is. which is ordered towards uh, you know a particular end. Mm -hmm. Right, so beautifully represented in yourself, um, <laughs> yes, as one of its so superlative products. Um, you're gonna make it very. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're setting me up for a fall here, but that's okay. Yeah, well, yes, yeah. Don't yeah, that'll save you from pride. <laughs> yes. we, um, so th I would say that's its, its distinctive quality, right? The all the elements of of the curriculum are ordered toward one another. Mm -hmm. uh, to advance the the graced perfection of memory, intellect, and will, and 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 those who are fans of Augustine will, yeah. will recognize in that, in those three theological virtues, what what we call the psychological analogy. Mm -hmm. um, Augustine said that uh, these three powers in us are a faint image of of the persons of the Holy Trinity, and uh, so the very content of our curriculum aims at perfecting those three powers. Yeah in accord with the three theological virtues and each appropriated to three persons. So it's a beautiful holistic vision of uh, our um, being made for God, right? Yeah. Ficiste nos ad te, yeah. which is our, our motto, you have made us for yourself. Yeah. And the whole curriculum is basically the working out of what that means yeah. and how to respond to it. 
and it's grace. been it's been really fun for me as I'm interviewing the professors and especially this hearing about what was behind it because when you come here as a student, you don't often hear exactly like this is this is the big picture of what we're doing the curriculum. You just you just go through the yeah, curriculum. Yeah, that's right. But as I'm hearing you talk through it, it, it is, I think, back to so much of what I got here. And it's like, yes, all of these pieces did fit mm-hmm. in, in into a whole. So it, yeah, I, I would say that much has been achieved uh, mm-hmm. towards the end that was desired, which is good. So yeah, uh, we don't we only have a couple minutes left here. And I like to end with um, a little bit more of a personal question. Uh I have two. You can either answer both or you can pick one. <laughs> but I want to ask if you have a favorite saint or maybe just one of your, your favorite saints and then a uh, favorite book of the Bible uh, to, to read. Um, I have many heavenly friends, yes, so it's hard I know, that's, to choose. That's always the problem. And you always, you always have to put the Blessed Mother first. <laughs> um, and uh, so I've been long consecrated uh, to Jesus through Mary. Mm-hmm. Um, St. Augustine's very important. I was actually converted by St. Francis and mm-hmm. then Padre Pio. I've heard you talk about Padre Pio. Yeah, yeah, and I just, and he's been, I, I feel as though I'm one of his spiritual children. Yeah. Uh, but but St. John the Baptist is my personal patron. Interesting. And then, of course, St. Augustine. Yeah. You know, I wrote my dissertation on St. Augustine. Yeah. And, and he's been my constant companion, yeah. you know, as we've done this work at the Augustine yes. Institute. Yes. The all very good saints. So, <laughs> um, favorite book of the Bible. And I guess, uh, it, well, question is, is your favorite book of the Bible to read, whether it's, uh, for, to, to just learn or devotional, uh, is it the same as your favorite book of the Bible, maybe to teach or, uh, boy, um, you know, I don't teach Bible. Yeah. I, I teach I'm about sure the Bible all the time. I'm sure you have taught <laughs> under the Bible. other topics, yes. right? Um, my, my favorite, uh, book is Ephesians. I mm. just love Ephesians, and I reference so many elements uh, yes, from it. Remember, the yeah. the plan of the mystery that that Saint Paul speaks of in Ephesians, both in one and chapter mm-hmm. chapter three as well. Um, and and you know, comprehending with all the saints the height, depth, length, and breadth. Yeah. Right. Um, so the so there's a wonderful energy and unction yes. in Ephesians. Yes, that is beautiful. Well, thank you so much. You for, bet for joining us. You bet. Thank uh, we you, we are praying that these conversations are blessing you. If you have any interest in the Augusta Institute Graduate School, below this show in the description there is a link. You can click it and see some sample lectures. You can get to the admissions page and talk to our admissions counselor. Um, and then the other resource that we always talk about on the show is short courses. So if you're interested in maybe dipping your toes a little bit in the water, but you don't want to commit to the graduate school all the way, look at our short course uh, platform. They are amazing courses that cover a lot of the things that we just talked about with our professors from the Augustine Institute, and they are fabulous. Uh, And we know that they have uh, helped a lot of people. So check those out um, if you're at all interested. Thank you so much for joining us and God bless you.